Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Aries who are watching. So if you have Aries as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Aries, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and get into your reading, Aries, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for the sign of Aries, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Aries, so before I do go ahead and start with your reading, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to you all if you are watching this on November 24th. I do hope you all have a wonderful holiday and you feel supported, loved, seen today and on any day. But yes, happy Thanksgiving to you, Aries. All right, so let's go ahead and get into a few situations oracle cards. I'll go ahead and link this deck in the description if you want to check it out or if you are interested. But can we please get a few cards for Aries when it comes to this person in love? Roller coaster, first card that came out. Highest high, adrenaline rush. What else do we have for Aries when it comes to this person and their connection? What else do we need to know, please? Retaliation. Punish, payback, revenge. Let's go ahead and get one more card for Aries, please. What else do we need to know here? Okay, so we have another card that came out, which is cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. So Aries, roller coaster, highest high, adrenaline rush, retaliation, punish, payback, revenge, and cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. So this could be in regards to love or this person that you're dealing with at this time. I feel like with this roller coaster card, there were, of course, ups and downs. The, the positive, those up moments that you had with this person, that made you see why this connection, why this relationship is worth it to you, Aries. But I feel like when you two experience those down moments, they were they they were very crucial like just things that happened between you two that maybe made you break up or walk away from this connection or things that could have that impact that same potential to ruin this and maybe this person did do something Aries that hurt you it made you mad it made you disappointed with this retaliation card I, I do feel like karma is at play here or maybe you Aries you just got back at this person because you didn't want them to just feel like they could hurt you and move move on or act as though it did not happen and it doesn't even have to be revengeful Aries it could just be you separating yourself from this person and walking away because you know wherever you go you're you're going to be in a great position this person is going to look back at this and wish they didn't do you dirty. And that could be their karma, realizing that or just seeing how much better you're doing and how abundance follows you. And you came into so much more abundance after leaving this person where they, where they were at. 
If you were still in connection with this person, it could be the retaliation, the roller coaster, just a lot of back and forth, ups and downs. Maybe this person or you, you as well, Aries, trying to one up on one another does not have to be the case. Only take what resonates out of this reading, please. But we also have meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. I feel like if you walked away from this person, Aries, it was because you needed to remove this negative energy. You needed to cleanse your space. And you were maybe able to decide for yourself if this person is deserving of being around your energy or if they're just polluting it. So we'll go ahead and leave those cards on the side. Let's get a few specific, specific excuse me, messages for you, Aries. What do we need to know here for Aries regarding this person and their connection, please? What energy do we have for Aries? What energy is currently taking place? When it comes to love for Aries, let's get a few more cards. We're just going to get one more specific message, please. What else do we need to know for now? All right, Aries. So we have our first few cards here. Once again, please keep in mind that any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I'm describing from your person, that could be how you feel. The roles could be reversed, just however this reading resonates for you. Please only take what resonates out of it. So, first card we're getting into, let's start over, please. I know what I can do better. I do not care about what anyone else thinks or says. When I see you, I see happiness all around. I want to be able to support you. I or I'll never find anyone better. I have I'll never find anyone better. I have love for you always. And we also have I'm thinking about you but stalling making the first move. So Aries, I feel like the energy I described prior it applies to this energy we have now. I feel like when it comes to this person, it might be conflicting for you because you you could have so much love for them or you just know why you did love them in the past. And with this roller coaster card, when you two experience these highest highs together, all these up up moments or positive moments together, it's like that's a reminder of why you love this person, why you're with them. And if that's how it was all the time, then there would be no no downs, no if, ands, or buts. So it's like you, Aries, questioning, why can't we just be in that state all the time? Why can't we just let happiness take over and not go through what comes in the middle between us? So we have, when I see you, I see happiness all around. I feel like this is how you feel towards this person. Maybe how you felt. This was the one that you wanted to love because you saw all the potential in them. But I do feel like there's this energy of separation here. And with this retaliation card, this is your energy, Aries, just doing your own thing, walking away from this person and this connection and welcoming welcoming and better for yourself and I I feel like as far as the reason to the separation Aries it may have been because this person in a way found a way to make it difficult between you two they maybe did not see eye to eye with you or they weren't as giving as you were and it's not like it was a matchup between who can do more for one another, but just that openness that you provided, you may have felt like this person wasn't willing to do that for you for whatever reason. Like just someone, I have a card in the deck that says my way or the highway, just stubborn energy, someone who does not want to meet you halfway or see eye to eye with you, even when it's not a, a big deal or an issue. We have, I do not care about what anyone else thinks or says. I feel like this is their energy to you, Aries, or just their overall energy, not being the type to hear you out so easily, or it might be the, the type of thing where 
you're on your last limit with this person when you've tried to get them to understand you but they wouldn't budge for so long but up until the point where you're about to walk away that's when they turn things around and switch up their energy so just someone who did not make things the easiest when they could have accommodated you better so some stubborn energy from this person's side we have i want to be able to support you i feel like this is your energy aries and maybe if you were patient in this connection it was it was all due to the love that you had for this person wanting to hear them out and i i feel like you were that listener for them aries but at some point in time it did not make sense for your your general well-being if this person was stressing you out so much where you lost focus on yourself we have i'm thinking about you but stalling making the first move could be a mutual energy here aries this might be a person that you would love to have everything work out fine but at the same time you know the, you know the reasons why this did not work out and those real reasons are what is keeping you back because you've already cleansed your energy or you're in that process so as much as you would like to you know that it is it's, it's not worth it or it won't work out i feel like this could also be this person's energy in the sense that if if they left you high and dry or just did you dirty they know that they did that and that is something that can't be forgiven or overlooked so them wanting to reach out to you, but knowing that they've already burned this bridge. We do have let's start over, please. I know what I can do better. I feel like this is their energy to you. Wanting another chance, knowing how to make it up to you, knowing what to say. But with this energy, just be, just be careful, Aries, because maybe this person just wants an ego stroke or they're not genuine. They could be, but it's up to you to decipher that or discern that for yourself. I'll never find anyone better. I have love for you always. I feel like this is their energy towards you, how they feel towards you, missing what they once had. And knowing that they, they played it, like they, they did this to themselves. Let's get a few more messages for Aries, please. What else do we need to know here regarding this person and their connection, please? Okay. A couple cards came out here, Aries. Let's take from the top. What else do we need to know about this person? We'll get two more cards, please, for Aries. Okay, we'll keep this card as well. Let's get through the rest of these cards, Aries. We have, let me just organize these a little bit better. So Aries, we have, my silence is not a reflection of how I feel towards you. I'm just not ready. I love you so much it hurts or that it hurts. I want our future to be promised. I have, or there's so much curiosity I have when it comes to you. I want you to love me like you did before. And we also have, I've never believed in a love like this. So Aries, I feel like this person, they were someone you wanted it all with. Someone that you maybe fell for from the beginning or from the very start of things and with this roller coaster card when things were good they were great like i said so you may have been in like just love struck by this person but over time you started to realize what was not working and how it continuously was happening so i i feel like it, it wore on yourself and at some point in time you were like i i cannot keep doing this so you may have walked away Especially if there was some uncertainty here. I love you so much that it hurts. I want our future to be promised. Like if all these not so positive experiences are happening, it makes you doubt what is next to come or if, if this is going to be like this 
throughout this whole duration of us knowing one another. So it's like the Nine of Swords energy in tarot, just feeling defeated, not knowing what to do, maybe doing everything that you can, but this person needs to give in as well. I feel like you prioritize this person. I may have said that already. We have, there's so much curiosity I have when it comes to you. I do feel like you were this person's like number one supporter. Like anything that they were into, you were about. So definitely giving this person your attention, wanting to know everything about them because that's how much you took interest in them. I've never believed in a love like this. I feel like this was once your energy Aries just being love struck for this person. I want you to love me like you did before your energy as well. Like how did this turn into that? Or how did that turn into this? What happened? Yeah, what happened to those butterflies that you once gave me? You still give me them, but why do they have to be ruined because of whatever reason that comes from you, you know? And my silence is not a reflection of how I feel towards you. I, I'm just not ready. I feel like this is your energy, Aries. You might still have feelings for this person, but and you might love them from afar, but you're not ready to maybe go back to them or ever try things out with them again let's see what sign you might be dealing with can we please get a sign for aries sun moon rising venus leo we'll get another sign that was a short roll but we also have virgo pisces we'll just get one more sign please for aries and aquarius all right, Aries, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.